Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got Red Breast PX, baby. There's no year on it, just says PX. I'm Scott. Woo, I'm Bart. We're going to do it Irish whiskey style. And we're going test it. Pedro Jimenez, Irish whiskey Ooh, style. Ooh, look at that. You're breaking out the mangoes. <laughs> All right, this looks good, right up your alley. This, so, okay, not too long ago, we did Red Breast Tawny Fort Edition, Ooh. which was new to the area. I hadn't it's seen like it. like Tawny. Did you keep the Tawny? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. It's a lot no, of No, I breasts. bought it. Good. Yeah. I was going to use that again. I bought that one. In case this is great. But <laughs> this one has actually been out at least since last year. Maybe this, maybe they did another release of okay. it. It's got these... White little leaves on it. I do like the shade of purple that they use okay. on the foil. Like the, it's a, it's ooh, nice yeah, kind of yeah. it's nice. Got a little glow. Got, it's a dark mm -hmm. purple. Iberian series. Mm. Uh, of course, triple distilled. Triple distilled. I had your dessert. I've had your dessert. You made this lovely pumpkin brownie. Pumpkin. I like the, I like the pumpkin. I'll say the pea part. Just dolce pumpkin. Bar. pumpkin dolce pumpkin. bar. Pumpkin dolce. Pumpkin. Yeah, you got to do pumpkin. That was sealed in a 750 milliliter. I see, like most red breasts, 46 percent ABV. I'm gonna pour mine first. Good. He let me have a taste of the pumpkin bar, and I gotta admit, I got a little bit jealous of Jen <laughs> because I'm like, you need to be baking this more around my house. <laughs> Negative, Ghost Rider. Negative. Yeah, you don't want to hang out here, dogs barking in the background, making noise. Boy, Red breast uh, single pot still yeah. Irish whiskey. That's the single pot still. They use malted and unmalted barley. Triple distilled. Do, do, do. Yeah, triple distilled. Triple distilled, like most Irish whiskeys. Right. It smells great. I get a little. Is it a little plum or a little wine kind of hint to it? You're more uh, no, of the sherry guy. What? what? Yeah, I mean it's yeah, it's darker, a darker nose. Yeah. Like the rind, mm, smells good. The dark fruits, yeah, nothing citrusy jumping out at you. Plums, raisin, brown, dark brown sugar. With all those sweet rock candy sugars of a red breast that kind of ribbon through, man, that's good. I like red breast anyway. It's, yeah, it's probably my favorite Irish whiskey. I like Jameson Black Bottle as well. But, um, gotta say, I'm getting, this is where your palate will be better than mine, because I'm not saying I'm picking up as much fruit as I thought. Kind of what I really expected from other red breasts that we've had. And even all the all the red breasts are sherry influenced somewhat. Sherry casks are involved in the maturations. But it's still, it's, it's a light mm -hmm. um, mat, uh, influence. Not sherry bombs. You know, there's never, and the same here. This isn't a PX bomb. This is one of those, there's some nice subtle influences here. And actually, I'm not even getting that much up front to say, boom, PX. Yeah. But hopefully, like it'll open get into it. Yeah, because yeah, I thought I would get more. I think I got more fruit on the nose, the plum on the nose. Mm -hmm. I, I got a lot more of that. Rock candy sugar vanilla, which I get from a red breast anyway, the 12. Hmm. It is good, but it's lighter, it's sweeter. There's some dark notes, there's some burnt caramels. Oh, there's some toffee. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get some toffee in there. Maybe mm -hmm. again to the raspberry toffee ones, mm -hmm. those Brock's little rolls yeah. that you'll get. But it's just hints. Like I say again, this isn't a, a PX bomb. Right. I was I was hoping for yeah that PX punch, right in the kisser. Oh yeah, you had the whole like rah. yeah. Not sure what was <laughs> going on there. But this is what Red Breast is known for. It's kind of those subtle influences. Right. Good base whiskey. Use some good wine cask yeah. that bring that influence in here. We're getting that. And the finish is long lasting. Again, for me, the finish is those oak notes, light, light oak notes with 
again that like rock candy sugar and and malt coming through there and it's it's why i like red breast but i think this one might need to open some more i'm not getting those plum flavors flavors i thought i would get right because I smell well, more of it. I get it more on the Ola, smell. Oloroso is going to bring you more of the plums and the raisins. But the I dates. get a plum on the nose. PX is going to be uh, kind of the, the syrupy, sweet, brown sugars. Maybe really? maybe some of the dark fruits. but I get darker the, fruit on the nose. The, the, the more the, the burnt the toffees, the burnt caramels. Okay. I mean, think of the, the tomato and PX. Yes. I need to try it again. Mm, good. And there's hints. There's hints of that. That toffee that I'm getting is is the same hints of the toffee from that Tomatin PX. It's still but the it's best still example light. of the PX I've ever had. Oh. I know. Because I remember when we tried that, it was a little sampler pack, and I thought the whatever the older one wasn't a thirty year or something. Well, there was Oloroso. There yeah, was the PX. And then, and then there, was there was a, a thirty year. year. And I thought, ooh, I'm gonna want. Want the 30 year because he talked yeah. about you can get one of these bottled, and I thought we'll go for the 30. And then we we're both like, mm -mm, that PX. A PX. Then we went and visited the distillery. That's enough well, about the other distillery. Sorry, good point. Red good point. I got the PX. But there's hints of that in here. But again, this is one of those lighter maturations. <laughs> Good. I mean, th this is good. I would like a little bit more of that PX, though. Red bit. breast is all over it. You're not going to mistake it. Let this open, and then I'd like to compare this like with a straight up. Maybe we do a red breast family. Ooh, that'd be nice. A red breast family. And that does mean it has to go home with you, because you've got the red breast collection. Yep. A few of them. Yeah. You've got a 21, right? You got the 12, I mm -hmm. know. I don't have the 12. Oh. Uh, 12 cast of drink. Get it. Yeah. You got the tawny. 15. Mm. Yeah, the tawny port. We need to do that over at your place. We need to do a red breast family mm. shootout. That's, no, I like I this. think the only way I can get the subtle differences is to have them all together. Yeah. I was just you looking at heavy. I was looking at yeah. I was looking at the color too. Nice color. Should be. Do we put water? Color. We did. We have not added water uh, yet. We gotta see if it changes. Um, this is this is very good. I was just hoping for a little bit more of that PX to. Me too. And it's there. It's there. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Damn. I moved it. Threw me. I was gonna take another sip. Oh, go ahead. You threw me there. You got that was I mean, like, Oh, that's not enough now. It's not enough. All right. Maybe. Made it a hard target to hit. Well, you get you do your little <laughs> toss thing with it. That's right. I love that. It's got a little flurry. A little flurry. Everything's got to have a, you just no, 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 no. Everything's got to have a little bit of visual whimsy. Case in point, shirt hat, shirt hat, visual whimsy, and let's we call it a spritz. <laughs> Look at that. That's what we gotta have, just like a little spritz spray bottle. Oh, just yeah. Going, you, just, psst, you want a little water? Psst, psst, like you're cleaning your glasses. Yep. Just, psst, that'd be good. Yeah. That might be the new thing. Spritzer. Mm. <laughs> mm. Water didn't do anything. Didn't hurt it. Didn't help it. Nope. Boy, still a nice... Still a nice red breast, but yeah, mm -hmm. I, I want to do a family. I want to do them together. I'm gonna taste them together and see the subtle differences. Show. I'm starting to get some of the raspberry. I got a little bit of raspberry there. Hmm. I'd like to see an age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God, I like red breast. Though. Throw an eight. I don't even people. If there was eight year whiskey in here, I don't think people would mind if it was red breast eight some year would. PS. Some would. Some would lose it. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> that's why they don't put it on there. Because it'd be somebody who would throw them off. You and I, not so much. But some, it would. Do they give any? No, they don't. They talk about bodegas. In Spain and Portugal, and then they get into just some alliteration of uh, gentle warmth. That's good. 
take that bad boy home, put it with your set. But I am requesting we do a, a red breast family shootout in the future. I think I'm, doing that, I'll get it. I'm going 90. Ooh. You know what? I, what? Go. Yeah. I'm stuck between 88 and 89. I'm going to go 89 because I really do like this. Mm -hmm. It's not breaking the 90 for me. 89. It's breaking the 90, but I think a little bit more PX would bump that up a notch or two. Maybe. I would love to give this a 92 or a 93. feel like I need some good cop, bad cop. Just a <laughs> vanilla blow it out. Yeah. Pop. Just shoot. Uh, $140. Ooh. <laughs> Nope. Yeah, like uh, most of the, I, I think that's what the uh, Tawny Port, I think it was 120. What? PX is a little bit more. Goodness, what does the 12-year go for? I bought one, it's sitting over there. But They're like remember. 60 now. Oh, there you go. That's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. The 15s are 110 now in our area for a 15-year. Wow. 21 years used to be reasonable, are now two, 250, 250. Damn, they're good, too. I really like the 21. Yeah, that's um, pricey. That's pricey. Ooh, I guess a nice finish. Yeah, I just had a little bit higher expectation. I want a little bit more PX to show, but overall, still a great whiskey. Yeah, I'm great hoping that'll open up. Rest. To me, I don't get the hoo ha with it. The hoo ha. Yeah, I don't get a lot of hoo ha. I just I get more red breast and not PX. That's something that some girls refer to their body parts as the hoo ha. No. Yeah, you've never heard that. You you and I date different. I'm girls. glad you don't get the hoo ha. <laughs> yeah, I've never. We've dated different women. I've never had a woman say, "Hey, you hoo ha." <laughs> What'd you call it? Hoo ha. Yeah. <laughs> That'd throw me off. I'd be like, "Whoa, hold on, hold <laughs> on. What are we talking about?" <laughs> Maybe I'm, I'm glad, wrong. I'm Put in the comments. Put it in the comments. Yeah. Glad you don't Put get the hoo ha it. in the comments. Let us know. What is going on there? So we ooh. had a we've got a three dollar Patreon. We're gonna we're gonna shout it with gusto or with what we call yep. gusto. Yep, and it'll come up. But Alex can send in his picture. Just cover Good. the pickle. We're That's the only thing we pickle. say. Cover the pickle so, for the picture for the proofing. But we need to Ready? thank Alex Smith. <laughs> dollar patreon supporter Ooh. go to patreon.com look up scotch test dummies Could youtube be a professional. can help support us <laughs> keeps the lights on keeps the whiskey coming that's right uh, by the way we use uh, it, you can go to scotch test dummies.com and you can buy barrel caps mm -hmm. toppers glasses shirts hats all kinds of stuff it helps support the show along with patreon funds which we use to buy our whiskeys right. you can do a dollar two three you can pick your i amount. think i think 98 99 percent of our whiskeys we buy occasionally somebody sends us a yes. bottle to review yep, which we always say we'll tell you we'll tell you yeah this was sent that this was sent to us right. we didn't buy it nope and god knows if you listen to our banter you know they did not send us any money <laughs> because they'd be like why are they talking about hoo-ha <laughs> they can't talk about like, hoo-ha hoo when we send them the px that's a that's a violation nope scotch it <laughs> you scotch who has? Who has? Who has? Dummies. Who has? <laughs>